Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about growing these babies back. So if there's any of ye out there who are plucking mad like myself and want a few tips on how to grow back overplucked eyebrows, keep watching. So of course there's loads of reasons as to why you may have overplucked your brows. There is just not knowing what you're doing. <laughs> there is going a little bit overboard, wanting to even them up and then just going crazy and you know, getting a few two hairs few hairs too many and then there's of course maybe sometimes plucking from stress or from nerves or whatever which is kind of what I do so it has gotten me from here to where I am today which is this so there's a big big difference between my natural really really thick brow and what I am at the moment now I don't necessarily want to go back to my thickest because I do find it can overpower my face a little bit because they're so heavy and um, they're quite dense as well as being heavy because this is them at their thickest but still shaped so they're actually even thicker than this naturally and I don't want to go necessarily that thick but I do want to thicken them out a little bit more. So here's how I'm personally thickening out my brows at the moment to get them a little bit thicker but still keep a shape to them and not kind of let them go as thick as they naturally are. So this is actually my eyebrows with about a week's worth of regrowth, not even, I think this was like five or six days so you can see how quickly my hair grows back. And for this, I'm using Lingering Brow Pencil by MAC. It doesn't really matter what brow pencil you use, but the idea is just to map in a shape, um, one that you're happy with. And I would nearly say to go a little bit thicker than you want to, just to give yourself a little bit of wiggle room. And then make sure that you're happy with the shape before you even look at the tweezers. It's also important to make sure that you're plucking the hairs from clean skin. So make sure there's no other makeup on your eye area when you are um, removing hairs outside of the drawn in shape. And then of course, once you're happy with the shape, it's time to start tweezing out any of the hairs that are outside of the stencil. And if you think it's too close to the line to tweeze, then leave it alone. You'll be better off in the long run. And then once all the strays have been tweezed away, I just use a little bit of eye cream on a cotton pad and use this to wipe away any of the brow pencil that's left in my brows. But if you do want to thicken them out to your absolute fullest shape or you just naturally aren't that, that full of brow anyhow and uh, full for you isn't that full, I'd say just throw away the tweezers all together and just let them do their thing. If I was to do that, I would literally have hairs growing like down here, so I'm not doing that. I always pluck around this area anyhow even when they're at their thickest. But um, one thing I did want to say as well is if you're not confident enough in mapping out your own shape, you could get something like this which is a brow stencil. Now this is just from my airbrush kit but there's actually loads of places you can get them loads of brow kits have them so i'm pretty sure if you just went down to your local pharmacy you will come across a brow kit that has these i know the anastasia brow kits um contain these as well or just go ahead and make your own so try and map out a shape and then use tracing paper just to trace around whatever shape you want cut that out and that can be your your stencil so there are ways of getting around that so then when it actually comes to filling in your brows with makeup, I have everything else on first and I always leave my brows to last. This is just so my face powder and stuff doesn't cover my brows. But here is how I'm doing this at the moment as well. So I start off by brushing all my hairs up and to the side with either a clean spoolie or a cleaned um, mascara wand. And then again, I'm using the same MAC Lingry Brow Pencil. Again, it's not too important. You just wanna make sure you're using a product that'll actually cling very well to the skin because some brow products cling better to hair and not so much to the skin. But since you are filling in big gaps and a lot of skin, you may need to make sure that it actually adheres to the skin. So I just start doing loads of little flicks or little kind of lines that mimic the hairs of my eyebrows. Now it will be fairly filled in, but at least this way it's not too blocky. And then once I get to the edge or to the tail of my brow, I'm allowed or I allow myself <laughs> to make it a little bit more defined and filled in. And I do purposely go for a color that's a tad lighter than my own natural hair so that it doesn't look too overly like dramatic or too stamped on. And again, you just wanna brush through the hairs with your spoolie and this will help soften up and break up that brow pencil. Then to keep all the hairs in place and to make it look, look a little bit natural by brushing the hairs up, I use some clear brow gel just to finish everything off. 
So with all that said and done, a few tips for growing back your brows. Um, apart from throwing away your tweezers like all together, which in all honesty probably won't happen. I know I can't do it. I do have to get especially like the stray ones that grow around like the top of my brows and around the corner of my brows. Um, I definitely have to take care of those. But just make sure that you're staying outside your designated shape or your designated stencil. So you have the option of using growth serums. I know in the US there's one called Latisse, which I believe is good at working. And then there's Rapid Brow here that I know of that you can get here in Ireland. I know there's loads of others. I think, gosh, I heard the last day does a growth serum for lashes and brows as well. The only one that I've tried is the uh, Rapid Brow lash which is the same as the rapid brow they used to be able to use the same one on both but they just remarketed it so that there's a rapid brow now but the rapid lash did work on my own lashes absolutely i mean my lashes were crazy long i did a video on it years ago if you want to look that out look that up but friends of mine used the rapid uh, lash or the leopard brow on their brows and they absolutely said it worked so you can use those growth serums that really help to grow back hairs even hairs that weren't there before it just helps to stimulate the follicles to grow hairs out of them now they cost about 50 euro a pop and they kind of look like liners, like, you know, this kind of applicator where it's a little brush liner and then you brush them onto your lash line if you use them on your lashes or just into your brows morning and night and that's how it helps the lashes or your brows grow. So they're definitely an option, but if you want something a lot cheaper that um, doesn't have maybe side effects because some of those, like especially the lash, growth ones can have side effects, just like slight darkening of the skin and stuff like that. Um, try castor oil. So that is obviously really, really inexpensive or a lot more inexpensive than the lash growth serums or the eyebrow growth serums. And you can get that in any um, health food store and you just literally pop it on your brow every night before you go to sleep and that'll help the brows grow back as well. Um, it does actually work, but it just wouldn't be quite as efficient as the, like, the proper growth serums, especially the one that I used, the rapid one. So those are your options. I'd say just keep with it. And um, once I really get into the habit or into the mindset of growing back my eyebrows, I'm good at it. It's when I let it slip and let um, stress kind of take over. Uh, that's where I kind of slip. So we're going to see how we get on now in the next while. I'll have an update, I'd say, in another month because, um, I mean, you've seen my regrowth after a week is actually pretty good. So I'd leave it at least a month before there's anything fairly solid there and, um, you know, a shape that I'm very, very happy with. But I hope you all do okay in your regrowing of the eyebrows. Leave any tips below that you have yourselves that you can share with everyone and even with myself because I might pick up something that I haven't heard of before. And um, good luck. So we'll see you all in a month or so and we'll see how the eyebrows are getting on. Cheers guys, I hope it helps. Slam skin though. Like without the without the actual base underneath. But for me, the 63 seems ever so slightly darker. Um I don't know if I'm